Eric Katz, Life and Legacy. We welcome Noor Oda to the program from Ramallah. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, you are a former spokesperson for the Palestinian Authority. What has the reaction been today in the territory? Well, there's a, a great deal of sadness, uh, no doubt, about the passing of Dr. Saeed Bariqat. He's being mourned by uh, the political uh, leaders uh, of all factions, as well as by ordinary people who knew him and interacted with him, because he was a very accessible uh, political leader with the, oh, an open-door policy. People reached out to him for help and assistance in, in many things. So there's a, a lot of uh, um, sadness. Um, and a lot of reflection on this era uh, that uh, Dr. Arakat's death seems to be closing uh, in a way or another. He did not live to see his goal of an end to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Do you believe that his death will have a negative impact on the chances for peace? Uh, look, uh, Yasser Arafat passed away and, and still the Palestinian people persevered, and that was the father of the nation. Uh, uh, no doubt Dr. Saeb Erekat had a great deal of impact on, on the uh, course of Palestinian politics over decades. Uh, but that does not mean that the Palestinian people's struggle for freedom can stop. It won't. Uh, their pursuit for justice and independence and an end to the Israeli occupation will continue uh, with different people, different champions, but the cause has not changed. Could you tell us a little bit more about what it was about Eric Katz's negotiation style and his overall personality that made him so successful where others haven't been? Well, look, I mean, we cannot call the peace process successful. Uh, um, it, 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 is, it has been stalled for years. It has uh, been decapitated, if you will, or kneecapped. Uh, if we want to be nicer, by Israeli intransigence, intransigence by uh, the current Israeli government that wants to annex Palestinian land rather than end its occupation uh, of that land. But what we can say about the legacy of Saab Ariqat is that he was tireless, uh, and he was tenacious, and he was uh, um, always, always holding on to the uh, certainty in his mind that the end of occupation uh, is there's no doubt that it will happen and that the Palestinian cause is one of justice, uh, and that is why it will prevail. Uh, and in that sense, assessing that legacy will have to take all of that into context. Uh, this was not about the success of the peace process, because quite frankly, that process uh, uh, was made to fail uh, due to lack of accountability. The Palestinian public uh, may have a lot of reservations, perhaps about the Palestinian side's over-eagerness uh, to give uh, and to be uh, extra lenient, and yet uh, still uh, um, be unable to bring the Israel to, to uh, the side of, or to bring Israel to end its occupation. So there's a lot, a lot to discuss really here about that legacy. Uh, and I think one of the remarkable things about uh, Dr. Saeb Erekat's legacy is that despite the fact that his name is synonymous with this piece, so-called peace process, people still had enough space to remember the person, the academic, the advocate, the uh, cordial person who was always a phone call away, whether you were a journalist or an ordinary Palestinian or somebody from uh, all factions, whichever Palestinian faction, even uh, the, the uh, rival faction of Hamas. He had a lot of personal attributes that uh, were uh, greatly appreciated, uh, especially how cordial he was, how calm he was, and how respectful he was of everybody he uh, spoke to, uh, uh, whether friend or foe. 